Hey squad, welcome back. Now today I'm excited to bring you this video which represents a major part of my musical development from the late 80s into the 90s and that is the new Jack Swing vibe. When I think back to the time when this genre emerged, all I can think about is upbeat, happiness, good vibes and that's what I want to bring to you today in this video. We're going to be producing in colour and New Jack Swing is all about colour. Now I have so much respect for the creator and founder of this very powerful genre, the musical genius that is Teddy Riley and all of the incredible artists and bands who emerged during this time infusing R&B and hip hop who pushed this genre right up into the mainstream. Anyway, stick with me on this video and I really do hope you catch the vibe and it inspires you to explore and experiment with some of the techniques used in building this type of music. As always, if you find value in the videos I bring you, remember to like, remember to subscribe and leave me a comment, it's always great hearing from you. Also, if you feel moved to do so, why not support the channel with a super thanks. Anyway, it's that time, so let's get into it. Now my aim is to create as much of this track using stock Logic instruments. So we're gonna kick things off with our main keyboard section and we're using the wide suitcase preset. Our chords are gonna be really simple and the track is gonna be based really around two chords. Firstly, G minor and F sharp diminished. F sharp diminished, then we're adding a seven here. So here's a sequence. Okay, we're gonna be working at 108 BPM. So let's put this one down. Now the key to establishing that new jack swing feel is the quantized value we use, but we'll get more into the swing quantize in just a minute. So now that we've got that chord foundation, we're gonna start adding drums, and the drums are where you're gonna start feeling that swing vibe. Now, as you can see right here, I've got my drum machine designer loaded up, and I've got a preset called Swing Drums. Now I'm gonna be uploading this project so you can have access to these drums and all of the presets that I'm using here in Logic. But for now, I'm gonna put down my snare drum pattern and then quantize and then add some more layers on top. Okay, let's do it. Now, the quantize value we need to use for this is that 24th division quantize, which is a 1 16th triplet. So as I continue to add the drum layers, you'll feel the swing vibe building. I'm gonna put down a kick drum pattern now. So let's quantize this to the 16th triplet. Now we're gonna add the hi-hat pattern, which again is gonna further add more swing. So let's get straight into it. One sixteenth triplet. Uh, you feel that swing? It's all to do with this quantize right here. So now that I've got the main drum groove down, I'm going to add some more drum elements just to kind of spice things up a bit with a few more percussive elements and then we'll come right back. Okay, so the drum groove is down and you're going to hear that in a second. And this next sound I'm going to introduce is one that's very synonymous with the New Jack Swing era and it's the orchestral hit, which I've taken as a sample from the Roland MT32 sound module, and the sound is like this. So I'm just gonna put this down while you check out the drums. Now 
another fundamental aspect of this type of music is the bass line. And right here, I'm gonna be combining two synth basses from Logic using two different synths, the Retro Synth and the EFM1, both using FM synthesis, as you can see right here. I'm using the 80s bass preset on the Retro Synth. And over here on the EFM1, I'm using the Dark Attack bass. I'm combining them together in a track stack. So individually, they sound like this. However, together, they sound like this. Now, the bass line I'm gonna put down is gonna be something like this. So let's get that down and keep things moving. Yeah, that's really getting there. Okay, so we've got our synth bass sound down and that groove is really rocking. What we need to do now is add some of those elements that are reminiscent of the period in time that we're talking about. So the late 80s, early 90s, um, at that time, R&B music was dominated with analog and digital synths, but analog synths were very much the order of the day. So the sound I'm gonna add now is this one. And this one is the Brass 80s Slow Pop Sweep. Now let's get that one in. Okay, so I've got some more synth ideas that I wanna put down that's gonna to continue to build on that vibe. So the one I'm gonna be using now is on the retro synth, and we're gonna go for the dance basic lead, which we will find under synth leads right here. All right, so the actual synth sounds like this. Okay, I'm getting close to wrapping up this section of the song. After this, I'll do a simple bridge and then I'll arrange the whole thing. However, I do feel this vibe needs a synth lead section. And just like the sounds I use on the retro synth, which are virtual analog sounds, I'm gonna be using these two sounds track stacked together to create my lead. And this is what the synths sound like. This one here is on Alchemy and it's a 70s analog synth lead. And on the ES2 synth, we've got the fusion style preset. Now, these are two of my favorite synths in Logic. And you've really got to check out my recent video where I went through all 10 of Logic's current synths, which are absolutely fantastic. Anyway, um, my synth melody will go something like this. Something like that. But the other thing you got to check out as well is my use of the modulation wheel. When you're doing this type of music, it really must be played on the keyboard to give it the feel and the vibe. Programming music using the mouse or even using the computer keyboard is fine. But if you want to add that extra human feel, you need to get used to using things like the modulation wheel, the pitch bend wheel, that type of thing just adds that extra life to the piece. 
Anyway, let me put this one down and then we'll move on. This one, I'm not going to quantize, I'm going to let it flow freely. Okay, there's one more synth idea that I must add to this. And I'm going to be using, again, one of my favorite synths in Logic, which is the ES2. I'm going to be using the FM Synth Brass. And I'm just going to be adding a couple of simple chords like this. But I'm just going to find the right spot to punch those in just to add some more seasoning to this cook up. And I really want to do a bridge section for this, but I'll see how the time flows. So we'll see how we go. But let's put this one down first. Okay, so we're almost at the end and in the interest of time, I've come up with my bridge idea, which I'm going to play you in a second. I've also got some ideas for an actual electric guitar bit. And if I find something that works, I'll drop it in and play out. So let me just run this bridge section for you, which will lead back into a hook, a chorus section when I've fully arranged it. So the extra elements I've added here are some 808 drums, which are again from Logic. And I've just switched up the chord progression, added a pad and just one or two simple bits, just to give us a bit of relief from the main groove, which we'll drop back into after this section. So let me just run it for you. Okay, so we are practically there. Now I've got two last bits I want to add to this, and that's gonna be a simple lead melody line on the guitar and a funky sort of P-funk style guitar strum. So the lead's gonna sound a bit like this. And the preset I'm using in Logic is the Fuzz Vibe preset, which you'll find under Guitars and Bass Distorted Guitar. You'll find that right there. But once again, I'm gonna be uploading the project anyway, so you'll be able to access this preset as it is. For the Funky Rhythm section, I'm just going to be using, once again, um, one, one of Logic's preset, Funky Rhythm right here. And what I did do under the Guitar Amp settings, I switched on the reverb, and I adjusted the, the reverb level just to suit the piece. The guitar is going to go something like this. Something like that. Once the backing track is playing, I'll work out the actual pattern. Once that's down, I'll do a rough mix and then we'll play out. So remember, if I've brought you value in this video, remember to like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so, and support my content in any which way that works for you. So until next time, I'm Deuce, playing out. Peace.
Ooh.